Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is the child's um, creative spark. So something brand new that you are thinking about doing and you've got this idea and it's, you know, you're focusing on this particular thing. Uh, this is like the page of um, words. So, you know, maybe some news coming in about it, but you're starting on this brand new project and, you know, you want to start afresh and you want to focus all your attention on it. You are very, very, you know, you're centering yourself. You've got this uh, Mars here in Aries. So this is about putting all your energy and effort and all your mental um, energy and your physical energy into this particular project. You can see this woman's got the spark in her hand over here and this is that creative spark over here. So you're being very, very focused. Maybe there was some decision you had to make as well because it's a two. It's about decision decision making. And you've decided to focus on this particular project. Whatever it is, a lot of energy is going into it. You've got the Aesthetic Union unit over here. So this is a decision as well. This is a uh, card ruled by Gemini. And this is um, about, you know, maybe you're, you're working with somebody. There's some kind of partnership that you've started with uh, somebody. But also, um, you know, focusing all your mental energy on a particular thing. You can see all the chakras are activated over here. Focusing all your mental energies on this particular project that you're working. It's something very, very creative. Creative. Libra is a very, very creative sign because it's an air sign. And But you're focusing, you've got that a fire energy going on. So you're very enthusiastic about it. And the uh, Shakti or the, is the lover's card. So this is making that decision and moving forward into it. So you've been thinking quite carefully about it and trying to make a decision. And you are now focusing all your energy. So above and below this creative spark is are these two decision cards. So there's something that you had to decide about uh, focusing your energies on. And this is where you're going to be going right now so something that is really inspiring you and uh, you know you're very enthusiastic about it so you've got the boundaries card over here in the past so this is sun in capricorn something was very very restrictive in your life this is the four of earth you are restricted with finances maybe even restricted with resources and you have been coping with that uh, because, like I said, uh, um, Sun in Capricorn is about being focused on work, being focused on money, but it's also very restricted finances because Saturn is uh, rules uh, Capricorn over here. So you've been feeling very, very, you know, you've been watching those finances quite carefully as well. You've got the community card over here. So, um, and this is the uh, Nine of Earth, and this is the um, um, Venus in. Um, Virgo here and uh, this is about achieving personal success or personal you know whatever personal ambition that you've been focusing on uh, you know um, spending a lot of time by yourself maybe working on a particular project it might have involved a lot of study it might have been involved a lot of learning as well because it is a card ruled by Virgo and Virgo does rule learning um, and it also rules work and with Venus in it it looks like you know you've been enjoying it as well so something that you've been doing that it's there to advance your career, give you that financial independence as well, because it's the nine of earth um, or the nine of pentacles. And this is about achieving success. Maybe you've done a course or you finished some kind of study. You've completed some kind of um, maybe a degree as well. And this is the thing that's going to be uh, useful in generating finances and getting you out of this uh, four of earth, this restrictive phase as well. So going into the future, You've got uh, the initiative. So this is about, um, you can see Capricorn um, being the sign that is uh, in charge of this particular card. And uh, then you've got the desire card. So the thing is to take a chance and take that risk and put your focus on it. Uh, whatever it is, you need to focus on yourself. This is usually the... Um, uh, you know, the devil card, and this is about being feeling a bit restricted by whatever circumstances you're going through, but a need for you to focus on yourself and uh, go after what you desire with this uh, four of cups. So there is an offer that is going to be coming in. You need to be very, very focused on your work, focused on yourself, focused on about uh, advancing your career, and an offer will come in for you. Uh, and that's going to make you very, very happy. Um, you might need to travel with this offer, but it's something that is really lovely and it's an unexpected offer and it's going to be something that, uh, you know, you've wanted for a long time. So there's this new project that is coming in. You need to focus on yourself and it will bring in um, a new offer and it will be something that you have been working for on or you've been wanting for quite a while. So those are the energy, uh, that's the energy for that um, week.
Okay, so I'm going to just draw some cards from the Manga Tarot. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got the King of Pentacles, and this is about work, focusing on that work. Uh, this is usually a card that's ruled by Taurus, so this is on your personal finances, and this is taking control of that. You might have a lot of options available to you. Everything seem, seems to be pretty good, uh, and you're getting back that control of your money. This is taking back your personal control over your finances. This could be also that you're getting a job, or you're in a job where you're in control of a lot of people, or you know, you're managing financial resources in that particular job. But this is being in a position of authority and being able to control things and a lot of money coming in as well because it's the king of pentacles so it's the wealth card and this means that you know whatever job you're doing is going to be generating a lot of money so you've got the two of wands over here and the six of pentacles so the two of wands is about uh, going after what you desire you can see they've got the heart in the hand over there and making a decision so you need to make a decision about something maybe it's a it's a job uh, and it's going to be something that pays a lot. So whatever decision you make, uh, whatever you're, you, you're considering something that's going to give you a good payoff. So if you're going for a new job, and it's a job of authority as well, so it looks like something's coming in for you here, a new prospect coming in, you're going to have to go, uh, you know, go after it, make a decision and go after it, and it's going to bring in a lot of wealth because you've got that six of pentacles coming in. So unexpectedly, uh, you know, maybe you didn't even think that this was going to generate that much of money. It's going to generate a lot of finances and get you in, out of any kind of financial problems. So it's going to take you out of a period of loss and into abundance. Whatever this decision is, whatever this new thing that comes in, uh, you know, whatever um, you, you need to go for it. You need to focus on it and go for it. Make that decision, go for it, and it's going to generate a lot of money. And it's going to put you into a really, really good financial position uh, you know make you well off really so in the past you've got the four of cups so some kind of offer that you received recent in the recent past uh, and uh, maybe you weren't expecting it, but uh, maybe you, you didn't even want to take it uh, with this Four of Cups because the Four of Cups is about, you know, getting an offer and then saying, well, I'm not really, really interested in it, but this is something that was really good. So some kind of offer has been made to you. It might have required also you uh, needing to study to do it. So you might be coming out of a period of study and, you know, going into the workforce as well or being, you know, finished this, finishing this period of focused on study or spending a lot of time by yourself a lot of time with uh, learning new skills and now because you have all these skills in hand this new post is being offered to you and it's going to generate a lot of money so you are changing the way you do things you're rising above your difficulties and rising above the situation and that's what you have on your mind so you see uh, you know you have a decision to make about how you want to move forward and you're being called upon to do that and now you're taking control back of that situation and you're going for it with that judgment card so that's leaving behind a difficult past and learning having learned a lot of lessons you are now moving forward with great authority because this king of pentacles is somebody with a lot of experience so you have a lot of experience with dealing with matters uh, you know, uh, at, on the work front, and it looks like, you know, you're going to be able to move forward. And whatever your job you're taking, whatever project you're do, taking, like I said, it's going to be, have a good payoff uh, from it. So you've got the seven of wands over here. So whatever you're doing um, might be very different from everybody else. And maybe you've got a lot of opposition to your uh, new ideas, uh, but you need to defend yourself and uh, stand up for whatever you want to do. So although it looks like it's going against the grain and not doing what everybody else is doing, whatever you're doing is new and you need to defend it, uh, you know, stand up for it and uh, make it successful in that sort of way. Don't give in to external pressures, in other words. You've got the Queen of Swords, so this is being very determined to get the job done or being determined to get your way. So you, are, you do need to speak very clearly, very uh, commute very communicate very clearly the queen of swords is your card it's the card that belongs to libra so you need to take control uh, you've gone through a lot of difficulties uh you know the queen of swords she has been through the mill really and uh you know there was a lot of heartbreak a lot of loss but she's come out fighting and you need to stand up so even the six of wands is showing that you do need to stand up defend yourself and uh you know tell people where to get off 
Uh, you've got the Prince of Pentacles over here. So whatever is coming in for you is going to be something long term. And it's going to allow you to progress uh, up that career ladder as well. So this is all about finance, it seems, um, that's going on for you right now. And, uh, you know, uh, you've learned a lot of lessons, but there's a lot of abundance that will come in with whatever this new job is, whatever your focus is now. And this celebration, you know, you want uh, achievement. So this is, and also maybe you're, you, you've been spending a lot of time by yourself because you've got that queen of uh, swords over here. This is a woman, uh, or not necessarily a woman, but a person who spends a lot of time by themselves, you know, not a bit scared of letting people in after going through a lot of problems. Maybe a lot of people let you down here. But you've got that three of cups over here. So you are trying to get in contact with friends or you're trying to make friends over here. And you're hoping, um, you know, that you can socialize quite a bit more. So you've got the chariot card over here, the five of wands and the king of cups. So um, this is the final outcome. And the chariot card is being victorious and achieving Despite all the problems, you're taking control and you will have victory in this particular situation. You could be moving home. You could be buying a home as well because the chariot card is ruled by uh, cancer. This could also be buying a new car. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, this is about being in control of that particular situation and being victorious, but being very determined. So you have to, uh, you know, take control regardless of what anybody else has got to say uh, and get there, get your achievement. So you are being, uh, you are in a very challenging position right now. There are a lot of people that are, uh, you know, against whatever you uh, believe in. You've got that seven of wands as well as the five of wands. So you know they're being very vocal about what you know opposing you, but you do need to stand up again for yourself, defend yourself. Uh, you know, in, even if everybody comes up against you, know whatever idea you have is very very good, and you know it will eventually uh, bring fruits. So you do need to stand up for yourself in that situation. You've got the King of Cups over here. So this is about, uh, you know, having somebody that's going to be there to support you emo emotionally or mentally. Uh, so even though you are, you feel like you're alone, there is uh, some kind of help that is on, the, on its way for you, uh, somebody that helps you. This card also says, you know, if you have any kind of health uh, stress issues, make sure that you're going and seeing a doctor or somebody, a physician, because the King of Cups also tends to rule, uh, you know, the body or medical issues. So there could be some kind of medical issue that you're dealing with as well. Uh, so do seek advice if that is the case. But stand up for yourself and defend whatever you believe in and be determined, take control. And that is how you will achieve what you are going, what you need. Um, you will get what you want. You will achieve success. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Guardian Angel Tarot. And this is for um, advice. So the first card is the Two of Abundance, which says it's time to reflect upon your relationship with money. Are you spending too freely or are you holding on to it too tightly? This could relate to how you give to yourself or to others. Uh, is your heart open or are you holding back? Your hard work and wise investments will bring great success. So you need some money management to come in here. Uh, you need to look at your finances and you need to sort out how you are paying bills and how you are spending money. That's very important. You could even be balancing two jobs as well with this particular or two projects at once. But this is about, uh, you know, you need to actually get, uh, a do a little bit of a financial review and, uh, you know, cut out spending um money on irrelevant things really or things that are not going to you know things that are causing some kind of financial problems financial loss for you just you know um stop spending on that uh, and um try and save some money as well you need to get your finances in balance you've got the guardian of action over here as the second card it's time for you to step up and be a leader your nat natural leadership skills are being called into action now you've got that king of pentacles and this is the leadership card uh, this is your moment in the sun, so move into the light and shine for all to see. This card also is about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, and enjoys the challenge and loves the spotlight. Now, you are getting, getting into a position of leadership. Maybe this is why everybody has got something to say. You know, people always challenge a leader. Uh, but you need to, you know, even here with this five of uh, wands, you know, this person's in red. So you're very proactive. Maybe you want to get things going and people are a bit stagnant, right? around you and maybe this is the reason why you're having difficulties with them but you need to take up your leadership position and show them who's boss uh, even here uh, taking a leadership position and even with this chariot card being that leader so you do need to actually take up that leadership role and um, know your strengths 
and uh, you are naturally a leader, it says here. So you, you're going to have to demonstrate your leadership qualities soon. You've got the eight of action over here. There's so much going on right now, uh, and it might feel very overwhelming to you, yet it is wonderful to be so busy at work. Uh, doing the things you love, express gratitude for the blessings that, that heaven has, uh, that are taking up your time and that heaven has sent, even if life feels challenging. So uh, if you are asked to travel, take flight and then do so with confidence. So you might be traveling a little, um, traveling with this work. This is also a time where you can be very, very busy. So you're going to taking, be taking up some kind of leadership role and it's going to call you uh, into action, really. You're going to have to be working pretty hard, pretty long hours, and maybe some travel involved with that, um, and balancing a lot of things, a lot of information coming in. So you're you're entering a quite a challenging position right now, and but you can do it. You have all the skills you need. You need to find that balance, especially with this two of abundance. So balance yourself, uh, you know, make sure you have plans in place. That's very important um, so that you don't get overwhelmed. And, you know, you are a natural leader, so you will be able to cope with this. Just use diplomacy. Uh, Liberians are very, very good for that. And you'll be able to sort through any kind of challenges that you are going to encounter. So those that is uh, the reading for that particular week. And I hope that it has uh, resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. 